Of the three pygmy seahorse species to be found in the Philippines, Hippocampus bargibanti is the most commonly found. The genus name Hippocampus is derived from the Greek ippos, meaning horse, and campus meaning curved, which is in reference to the tail's ability to wrap itself around an object for anchorage. The species name, Bargibanti, is a tribute to Georges Bargibant, who unexpectedly discovered them in his laboratory aquarium, having collected samples of the Muricella fans they live on. The seahorses have evolved to live perfectly disguised on Muricella gorgonian fans, which can be red to purple or yellow in colour. It has developed warty-like structures on its body to imitate the polyps of the sea fan. Typically, Muricella fans live in water deeper than 10 metres or so, and descending beyond recreational dive depths. It's not uncommon when observing Bargibanti to see them go for an occasional swim, especially when they are irritated by annoying photographers and videographers shining their strobes and lights. I'm glad to say this one did manage to find a new place to hold on to. Reaching a maximum size of 24 millimetres from nose to tail, they are thought to feed on tiny zooplankton and crustaceans that get trapped on the fan polyps. Being consistent with all other seahorses, it is the male that broods the embryos in his pouch. It's easy to see which seahorses are the pregnant males with their rather plump bellies. They can have around 35 embryos, reaching the size of 2 millimetres in length when released from the pouch. Newly born larvae float around the pelagic until they find a host Muricella fan for themselves. To see more videos like these, visit our website philippinediveholidays.com